teaching through animated videos. Hi everyone, a very good afternoon to all the teachers out there. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Pravi Nair and I'm teaching in SK3 Bayou. So uh, the reason why I chose uh, animation is because based on the survey that I've conducted in my school, um, my kids love animation. You know, all the cartoons that, that they used to watch, Bobo Boy, Upin Ipin and Ultraman, Power Rangers and all that sorts of uh, animation. They just love, love, love animation. So uh, if you look at the first slide here, um, it has been clearly stated in uh, Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligence uh, that spatial is one of the element in multiple intelligence, spatial meaning visual. So since pupils nowadays are visually engaged, this can be supported by the use of smartphones to watch videos in YouTube and also play games. So that is the main reason why I chose animation as a part of uh, my daily teaching. Next slide. Okay, uh, when I use uh, animation, pupils tend to pay more attention because, um, you know, when we put, uh, because pupils, they love colorful things. And uh, when we put animation and when we teach through animation, they tend to feel like, okay, we are in a part of, uh, in a cartoon world, you know? And I've used simple animation, which is uh, Pixton from uh, Microsoft uh, PowerPoint 365 to make the lesson more interesting. Next. Okay, um, the time that has taken me you know, to create this perfect animation is, I have to like take up more than uh, one week, you know, to create an animation and I couldn't use animation for my daily lesson. So I've just decided, okay, I'm going to use animation for my grammar lesson only because that's where, that's where uh, my pupils are very weak at. So because they don't have a very uh, proper grammatical thing, you know, to speak and so on. So. That's the reason why I use animation for grammar lessons. Next. And uh, besides that, um, I have to say this. Um, when I create uh, an animation, there's always a character. For example, like I will create a character, uh, Jane, let's say. So this character will be uh, travel with them throughout the lesson and also throughout the month. So they tend to imitate the character's behavior. That's what I saw when, when I started to use animation. So um, what I will do is I will inculcate all the moral values and, you know, I know I'm teaching grammar, but still I will inculcate all the moral values so that the pupils, they will, they will like follow the character. They will do good things like picking up the rubbish and, you know, uh, sanitizing their hands. So that is the main reason why I'm using this uh, animation. It's like I'm uh, using this animation for, for two purposes, for teaching and also to uh, make their behavior good, you know, like that. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very, very much yeah, for sharing that. All. We, yeah. we so it, it sounds like this is something that you were interested in and you found a way to make yes. it work for the students. Yeah. What, what were the programs that you used to, to create your animation? Sorry, programs. What program? Do you say Pixton? Yes, Pixton. Uh, actually, it's in Microsoft 365 PowerPoint where I have to like, uh, you know, I have to buy that um, software. Uh, it's actually a normal uh, software. So, um, where I have to just create the characters through PowerPoint slides. And then I will just run it down and then I will put it uh, into my Wondershare Filmora Movie Maker. And then I'll dub myself, I will give voice. I will sometimes for like the, you know, for the women voice, I will use my wife. You know, my <laughs> wife will, <laughs> you know, will teach, even though my wife is not very fluent in English, but I will ask her, I will correct her and then I will, like I will torture her to speak, and then, <laughs> and then for the men, uh, for the men character, I'll be using my own voice. So it's like pretty fun, also, you know, to create this animation. So I, I love the fact that you are making fun for your teaching resources because that's yeah. how it is supposed to be. Teaching yes. is supposed to be fun. Yes. And did you want to add anything? Uh, no, I think uh, I just wanted to ask, how long does it take to do some of your videos? You said that it takes a while. 
and especially yeah. coaxing your wife to do some some of those yes. uh, uh, you know voiceovers and things like that. Uh, how long does it take to do one? Actually, to be very honest, um, it will take around like one week. But then I will finish up my animation like very fast. You know, like around three days, and then you know to uh, to make my wife to dub for that role is like is is the most. Uh, important and also is the most toughest thing that I've been doing and then sometimes I will just like give up okay just ignore this woman character let's make another ma uh, man character or male character you know just make another character so that I can dub for myself but pupils they are not interested in men characters they are more interested in women you know <laughs> so I have to torture my wife for that I, I think I think torture is the wrong word. But the other thing I really like is that in your animations, you're using you're using representations of the children from your classroom as well, yes. because that's so important when children see themselves yeah. in animation and they they see their own. So it is important that you torture your wife because it's important <laughs> that women are in your animation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Mr. Ravi, is there is there some other way that you are actually able to share these? whether you have a YouTube channel or something of the sort where, you know, I think not everyone, I mean, all of us are really intrigued by this idea, but not all of us, uh, you know, have got that ability to, or the mm -hmm. time to actually mm -hmm. do these animated videos. Is there something you can actually share these? Um, actually, uh, like, because I like to like create it, like I, I wanted it to be personal, you know, the animation that I create, I wanted it to be personal. I don't want to be like, I don't want to like take up, uh, take up, another animation from YouTube channel and then using it. I don't want to be like that. I want to be like, I want my, my, my pupils to get connected so that I can use their names, you know, whenever I create an animation. So I will just like call up their names. The animation will call up their names, you know, to ask questions. So it will be like so interesting. And another thing about, I, I do have my YouTube channel, but it's quite personal. I just wanted my kids to, you know, so if I don't mind if they want to subscribe or they don't want to subscribe, I don't care. I just want to put it out in LCD and then I just want to project them and I want them to learn. That's all. <laughs> You Wait, know thank what? You, thank you for that. That's such yeah. an inspirational message, and it's so one. I, I love the idea that um, you. that you use their names. And Florence has just suggested have have your have you used your students' voices? Students' voice. Uh, students' voice. Uh, not yet, but I'm going to use uh, one of my students' voice because uh, she's very uh, very like proficient in English. And I think uh, I should use her voice and her voice is like very sweet. She's just eight years old and then she can speak like very fluently, you know. So yeah. I am going to use that voice. I need that voice actually. I, th I, I think that's a lovely next step to get students yeah. to make their own. Yeah. 